Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up cauliflower gratin. So I got a big old cauliflower. It's a little over two pounds. By the time I trim it up, you know, and make it all nice and pretty and got the florets, it'll be about two pounds of cauliflower, which is a lot, but you want, you want to have a lot of cauliflower in your life because then you're gonna be on the road to becoming a superhero instead of a super zero. So I went ahead and put my cauliflower in a little steaming basket, and I'm gonna steam it just for a few minutes. Now I've got a little oven safe dish here. I'm gonna go ahead and butter it up. You know, get a little bit of butter and coat the insides just lightly. Alrighty, I've had my cauliflower steaming for just a couple of minutes, not for very long. You just wanna steam it long enough to knock off any attitude that your cauliflower might have. Set my steamer basket aside now and give my cauliflower a little time for reflection. And uh, while my cauliflower does that, I'm gonna go ahead and melt some butter. Alrighty, so I got my butter melted up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my flour. And we'll stir this around, get it mixed in with this butter, and uh, brown up this flour a little bit. So just constantly stir your flour and butter here. You don't wanna walk away from it, because it's just gonna take about a minute. And you wanna have your milk already measured out. You know, I got about two cups here, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in about a half of that. And I got this on medium heat. It's starting to thicken up and clump up. So I'll put the rest of the milk in here. And this seems like a lot of milk, but don't, don't worry about that because this flour is gonna cause it to thicken up. Plus we're gonna be putting a lot of cheese in here too. All right. Well, I think my spoon has done its job. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a whisk. My flour and my milk are well incorporated. I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, pepper in here. Throw some salt in here too. I'm gonna turn my heat up and bring it up to a simmer. All right, now my mix is starting to uh, bubble. So I'm gonna put it on medium low and I'm just gonna let it simmer for a few minutes here and give it an occasional stir. You definitely want to pay attention to it, you know, because you don't want you don't want to let it get away from you here. You don't want to burn it, but just let it bubble away for a couple of minutes. I got some uh, dried Italian seasonings. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this flavor in here. And I like my gratin to have a little bit of kick, so I'm gonna add a little bit of horseradish, a little creamy horseradish. Boom, boom. Keeping with our creamy theme. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of mustard too. You know, some Dijon mustard, some stone ground mustard, whatever kind you like. I got a fancy pants seeded mustard here. Now I'm gonna throw some cheese in here too. Well, this is actually about two cups of cheese. And I'm gonna put probably just a little bit more than half in here. And then I'm gonna save some to top our gratin with. But I'll stir this cheese around until it's nice and melted. And I'm using a combo of smoked Gouda and Swiss and a little Parmesan. You know, but that's just what I had in the fridge. You know, use whatever kind of cheese you like. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this heat off. And I'll go ahead and get this off of the heat altogether. So now I'll take my little buttered baking dish and I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, cauliflower in here. Spread my cauliflower out there. And you know, these are big pieces of florets. You know, that's why I steamed them a little bit. But I, but I don't want it to be too soft. So I'm gonna add some crunchy elements. I got a little bit of uh, celery here. You know, this is just one stalk of celery that I went ahead and chopped up for a little bit of color. This is just half of a red bell pepper. And then I had uh, some green onion tops. I was making a dish earlier. And so I had some green onion tops left over. So I'm just throwing this in here, you know, so whatever kind of veggies you have, you can go ahead and add. Now I'm gonna take my creamy, dreamy, cheesy topping and go ahead and uh, pour it over my cauliflower. You know, when this bakes in the oven, it'll melt down, it'll permeate through all these ingredients. So that's an awful lot of creamy, creamy, dreamy goodness. Got my topping completely covering up all of my cauliflower. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of my cheese, about half of what I have left and I'm going to cover the top of this here. Now we got our cauliflower all cheesed up and creamed up. So I'm gonna slide it in the oven, 
Let it bake away at 350 degrees. Alrighty. So while I was cooking away, Camera Girl came home. Woohoo! She's taking over the cinematography. It's been baking away, and it looks pretty bueno. Hey, I was gonna put a little bit more cheese on here, but uh, Camera Girl came home and ate most of my cheese. So I just got a little smattering. But that's, that's just optional, you know? That's just a little, for a little added gooeyness. But there's plenty of cheese and cream on there, but you just wanna get it nice and, uh, and toasty up there. You know, I had it baking away for about a half hour. It might take a little bit less or a little longer in your oven. The key thing is just to keep an eye on it. And this is optional too. We happen to have a little bit of dill just to use it and add a little bit of color. How does that look, camera girl? Delicious. Yeah, it smells fantastic, you know, especially because I put a mixture of cheeses on there. But this thing is hot, 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 hot. Like so. you, fuck. <laughs> So not gonna mess with it right now. We'll just let it uh, cool off for a little bit. And I'll go ahead and get the rest of our dinner ready, but then we're gonna dive into this here. Alrighty, so we've let it cool down a wee little bit. So I'll go ahead and dig some of it out of here. Good Lord, that's a big amount. Huh, this here, that's not, that's nothing, ma'am. That's a big amount. Huh, yeah, but it's mostly that's cauliflower. Like, that's like two and a half portions. Huh? <laughs> Not really. But look here, get in the bowl, camera girl. See all that all that cream and butter kind of melted down in there with the cauliflower. Let's Where'd see. you think it was gonna go? Run away? Uh, well, I mean it was pretty thick on top, you know? But I just want to show that it's it's kind of infused with all the down. So all that creamy, cheesy goodness is down there uh, with the cauliflower. Mmm. Creamy dreamy, man. This is decadent. But if you want to print this recipe, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes there. You know, if you want to uh, incorporate some healthy cauliflower in your diet, this is not the way to do it. But it will get cauliflower in your diet. That's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.